Hi everyone, today we're gonna to take a look at the Beast DDD's Sino Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose figure. This is an SH Figure Arts clone third party figure, again released by Beast DDD's. And we're gonna take a look at this amazing figure. It's actually uh, quite nice, it articulates amazing. And uh, I'm gonna show you all the accessories that comes with this figure, plus the extra. Uh, accessory pack that I bought uh, a few days ago and see how it looks with this figure and with the official uh, Goku Black from Dragon Ball Super figure. So let's get started. So this is everything that comes with the figure. We have 16 hands, we have four face sculpts, one installed on the figure and then three on the left. Then we have another set of bangs that's for his Super Saiyan uh, 2. And then we have an alternative uh, head sculpt that's for the Beast DDD's alternative figure if you don't want to have uh, Goku, Super Saiyan, Rose. So here we have the accessory pack that does not come with the action figure. This is a $32 uh, accessory pack. And it comes with uh, energy blade. The making of the energy blade where he has the, the hands holding that, the energy and he's about to make it. And then we have the Zai or the Sickly of, um, Sickly of Sorrow. And then we have a Key Blast four hands and what i'm actually more interested in the base form uh, faceplate of uh, goku black aesthetically this figure looks great um i love the fact that uh, this DDD is, is using the 3.0 body from the shv arts uh, because it adds a lot of mobility to the upper area of the figure but before that um the mobility and the articulation i want to show you that they are using uh, two layers of soft plastic, one on the top to, you know, kind of cover the, the chest area and the waist, and it doesn't hinder the, the, the mobility. And then uh, we have it, the bottom part too here, which is also a separate piece from this one here. Um, this is attached to the waist. It's glue actually. So you won't be able to fully remove it unless, you know, you unglue it. And uh, I wouldn't mess with that to be honest. For my personal, of, of course, for my personal um, uh, use, I wouldn't do such thing unless I, you know, I go crazy and I want to experiment. But I don't have a second uh, uh, figure to <laughs> to mess around with because I usually buy, buy doubles if I want to mess around with one figure, but I only bought one for this one. Um, articulation wise, you know, we have the uh, butterfly um, that goes this much. Actually, you can arm cross this this bad boy here. Uh, let me see if I can do it really quick here. You know, just uh, do, 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 do. Let's see that. I mean, I, I could do a better pose, but you, you know, uh, time on this video is kind of limited. Then you know, it it goes, it goes, it extends this much as well. Let's see. Look at that. Actually, actually, you can do a uh, a kamehameha um, pose if you want to. I, I know this this character. I don't think he does it um i don't remember <laughs> i need to watch uh, heroes again um then again it has a t pose just for people that want to see the, the how the arms extends and then it goes uh it goes all the way this much to the back and then for the articulation on the waist uh or torso it can go this much i wouldn't push it if if it was me i would i mean i would let me push it let me see if i can push it even more i know the last time i did it the, the waist uh, came off, um, not, not a big, you know, that's not a big problem. But again, this is how much I can push it. And then going back to the, to the, to the head and the neck, you have articulation on the neck and it's just, uh, it rotates and it tilts and the hair keeps coming off. But also the neck has articulation as well, as you can see. So you can, you have plenty of range to, um, post this guy however you want it on the upper area of the body uh the bottom area or or the middle here um it's you know rotates really good and again it has the three-point body version so the 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 uh the legs won't won't extend back that much because it has this piece here the butt piece i call it because i mean who who does who i mean the only way you can do it is if you push the, the leg like this that's how much you can get if you want to kick from the back which no one does uh, extension it goes 
this far about what 90 degrees 45 degrees <laughs> man I, I am lost with my degrees and then we have the uh, knee um, you know bend on the knee which is quite nice and then you can go back and he can almost touch his butt but again just just to show you the extension of the articulation and then the toe hinge or feet the toe hinge is right here and then that this this thing has a little, very little the, the foot has very little articulation so I mean it just rotates here and there but I mean it's it's decent uh, let me see if I can put this plastic piece back where it's supposed to oh <clears throat> I forgot to the the bend on the on the elbows this is how much he's gonna go not not much range but again he's he's uh, he's he looks great he feels great he doesn't look he doesn't uh, just feels he doesn't feel cheap at all you know but a lot of people complain that his gi is not a hundred percent black it's very opal, you know like faded like it's just like 80 90 percent black but um, so far I really like it I'm having a, lot, a ton of fun so now let me show you the accessories with this figure okay the first accessory is the one where he's in the middle of making that energy blade that he's very famous for and um yeah you can see that it's uh quite nice i mean it looks really good the that it's just like a transparent uh semi-transparent with the magenta rose color and it, it, it looks great again this hand comes with the kit and it attaches to it so yep attaches and the the hand here goes inside the effect boom and there you have it again i'm, I'm not posting it all the way but you, you see what i mean here we have the actual energy plate as you can see is a big uh, chunk of plastic um, it's hollow in most of the area on this area right here to fit the hand it goes right there like that and the figure itself can hold it nicely and it's uh, almost half the size of the the not the size but the height of the uh, figure itself uh, which means it's a, it's a super big effect you can just pose it however you want it the other accessory that I really love is the base form uh, Sino black with the uh, unbroken mask he looks so badass like that I just I just like the the, the mask itself it's just, it just looks so good and then we have the other key blast that it's also included with the accessory pack as well um, again uh, unfortunately for this one uh, you won't be able to remove the mask itself it's just i mean you can actually take the faceplate and just install it uh, or put it on the rose uh, hair scope or you know to to just you know look like super saiyan rose with a complete mask but uh yeah i, li I like this um base form uh sino goku black um head sculpt for 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 this figure at last we have the sickly of sorrow this is uh one of the reasons why i bought the accessories the other reason is the base form um sino goku black uh head hair scope that i also really like and as you can see i put the unbroken mask in the rose uh hair hair that way you can see that every single uh, piece on this accessory pack is compatible with this figure even even the the, the, the face plates themselves so um, this is quite the accessory pack and it will just make your uh, figure uh, five times ten times better than what it, what it already is and I highly recommend it if you're able to get your hands on this accessory kit at last, I want to show you a, a quick size comparison with another uh, Kong Studios. This is the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And on the left, we have the Super Saiyan, I wouldn't say the Super Saiyan, I'm sorry, the SS Figures Goku Black. And I also wanted to show you that the accessories or the hands themselves are compatible with this figure, except for the head. The head, you have to buy a special custom uh, head peg that attaches to the neck. So that's the only sad part that you can get 80 percent of the accessories uh, on this figure except for the head final thoughts about this beast ddd's uh, action figure sino goku black 
I really like it. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. Uh, their um, quality control is it's getting better. I haven't had any issues with any of their figures uh, from since last year. So this is a highly, highly recommended action figure to have in your collection. Even though it's not official, it's you know it's getting rare to to find. So I bought my at 5ktoys.com, but uh, it's out of stock already. Uh, these figures you have to get them on pre-order. So if you want to know when they're gonna get released or everything, you should follow 5K Toys. They're not sponsoring this video. I'm just letting you know that if you want to get these figures, you need to go to those third-party um, uh, uh, websites where they sell again third-party figures, and um, 5K Toys is one of them. Or right now you can actually get it at AliExpress as well, but it's gonna cost you a little bit more than what it cost me. Again, this cost me about $65, $69. Uh, I still don't remember the price. But now AliExpress is going for like $90, $80 without the accessory pack. So, uh, but that's that, but that will be your last chance to get this figure if you really want it. Well, this was the Beast DDD Sino Goku Black. I hope you guys like this video. And if you, if you have any questions, please leave them on the comment section. I do read all your comments and please uh, give a like, subscribe, and again, comment if you have any questions in regards of this figure. Okay. Thank you guys. Bye.